Hey there, my lovely Cancer Energies. What's up? It is your girl, Raven. You know, your triple P, the Pink Panther Petty. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? I hope that you're doing good because I am. So it's Odin. He's chilling. You know how we do. You know, we're relaxing. We're good over here. So I hope that everything's been good for you guys, okay? All right, so let me get into the reading, okay? This will be for my lovely Cancer Energies, okay? And here's the deal. You may not even be a Cancer. You could just have it somewhere in your chart or know somebody that's a Cancer or something like that. And because of that, the messages that I read for you today can resonate for you a little bit or maybe even a lot. But in either case, I just want you to please take what does resonate. Leave what does not. And by all means, please enjoy the reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. It certainly helps the channel to grow. Please share the videos. And God bless you guys so much for doing so, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Okay, so let's get into a cancer, okay? Let me uh, meditate over these cards for a second. I'll say a little prayer. Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective frequency for my lovely cancer energies. What's going on here today for cancer? What does cancer need to know? What is the message here? Okay, so I'm going to pull out five cards for a situation here. What, can you please give me five cards here to explain the situation? What's going on here? Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got the Four of Cups. We've got the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. We've got the High Priestess. Okay. What's the challenge here? Two of Swords in Reverse. But let me redo it. What's the challenge here? Ooh, too many. Okay. Hermes in Reverse. Virgo Energy. Okay. And what's the wisdom here? What's the, what's the advice here? Holy Spirit. Hmm. Someone really needs to believe in themselves and their path a little bit more. I really feel that here, Cancer. Someone here can really be doubting of themselves, like really needing to look within and really do some healing. Something may not have worked out the way that something was supposed to for someone here. And this may have thrown someone off balance when it comes to trusting their intuition and what their path is or what their purpose is. Like someone here may have really, really felt like something was supposed to work out between them and someone here and it didn't work out and they're feeling a certain type of way. They're feeling a little lost. Like someone here is like maybe searching for wisdom, like maybe needing to reach out. Someone also may have felt like they've been misled. But the will, I really, with the will of fortune here though, Cancer, I really feel like the, t like the tables are about to turn here because the six of swords is here, which, talk, which talks about embarking on a healing journey, like moving on to calmer, more peaceful waters, you know, focusing on on healing you know so someone here could definitely be in the energy of healing something that didn't work out like really realizing there's a, that there's other opportunities out there you know someone here may have gotten juggled someone is really just really moody about this let me get into some other cards here to dig out some more here about this situation here and these advice cards i'm gonna just set these aside for now because i'm gonna get into those a little bit later but yeah, I really feel like someone here is really like doubting of themselves right now. Or maybe, you know, if someone here could be like refusing to look within. Someone here needs to understand that they're blessed, you know, like someone here may be reaching a turning point when walking away is the best option for them. Like, yeah, someone here needs to find their emotional balance. You know, someone needs to like someone here may feel like restricted or something, you know, feel like they can't make a move or they don't know where to go. Hangman's in reverse with the King of Cups here. Like someone here needs to really, really ground themselves, I really feel like, and really figure out their path and what they really need to do with themselves. Yeah, someone needs to free themselves. Eight of swords in reverse. Someone's really, really in their mind about something. Someone needs to release negative thoughts, negative thought patterns. Um, what's this eight of swords in reverse? What, what's going on here? Yeah, someone needs to find balance, peace, harmony, and trust in divine timing. But what's this eight of swords in reverse? A lot, someone here has a has a lack mindset. Five of Pentacles. Someone feels out in the cold. 
Page of Cups in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Four of Swords here. Someone here needs to heal their inner child. Someone here may have childhood wounds linked to like abandonment issues, which leads them to want to, to have this need to want to control everything around them. And when things don't go a certain type of way, they like do a toss up, like I just give up. Or something like someone here really, really needs to balance their emotions and really need to someone really needs someone here could be very immature. Very I mean, I don't want to call anyone unstable, but someone really does need to really needs to reach out for help. What's going on here with this will of fortune? Okay, we got the hangman here, Pisces energy. Okay. What's the hangman and will of fortune? Those are two majors right there. The hyphen in reverse, Taurus energy. So someone here is believing in themselves. They're going against the grain, walking a more, you know, not traditional path, but just like walking their own path, you know, like maybe walking down the path of spirituality, maybe not so much religious anymore, you know, or this could talk about how someone is being enlightened that maybe it's time for a divorce here with the Hierophant in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune here because the Six of Swords is here after that. Yeah, this could be an X energy, Six of Cups in reverse and then the Ten of Cups is in reverse at the bottom. Yeah, so someone here maybe um, may have had to take a step back to look at things from another perspective, and now they've gotten some, they've gained some sort of enlightenment, and now they're viewing things differently than before, and now they're considering maybe divorcing someone or maybe stepping out of their normal routine or pattern of doing things here, and they're definitely deciding to let something go and move forward here. Um, what's the Six of Swords? Yeah, the Fools in Reverse. Yeah, someone here um, may have felt, someone feels like they may have made a bad decision or that they were a little reckless or foolish. And so now they're trying to move on from that and maybe heal. Yeah, the Queen of Wands is here. Someone here is like maybe, someone here may have made this decision out of confidence. Like someone here may have been really confident in themselves making this foolish decision. Maybe they thought they were going the right way. Maybe this Queen of Wands lured them into making this foolish decision. The sun is in reverse. Leo energy. Someone here could feel depressed or a little pessimistic. You know, someone could be really down on themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like for like making this reckless decision, like really beating themselves up and they really need to heal. You know, what's the fool in reverse with the six of swords? Yeah, the devil's in reverse, Capricorn energy. Someone here is definitely letting go of a toxic pattern behavior, destructive um, or destructive behavior or obsession, or this could be a karmic energy, like a third party or just, you know, a lesson to be learned, in other words. Like someone here is moving on from that. They definitely, definitely are letting go of whatever happened and they're ready to like someone made a very bad decision with a very karmic energy here someone here feels like a fool yeah the king of wands are reversed like someone here may have lost like their leadership qualities like they feel like they can't lead they're not believing in themselves like someone here feels like they made a clouded judgment they may have been misled with the ace of swords in reverse too and now they just want to focus on healing with the three of swords in reverse like someone here wants to heal But someone here needs to heal. What's this four of cups? Okay. Seven of wands. What's the seven of wands with the four of cups? The temperance. Yeah, someone here could be Sagittarius energy, by the way. Someone here is dealing with a lot of challenges, okay? And they have been called to stand up and defend themselves. And they could be very tired. You know, this could also talk about how... Um, An archangel can be out here standing up protecting someone too. Hold on. Ooh. Page of Wands. I think Archangel Cassiel is here. He's a temperance angel to help someone find their inspiration, their passion. That like someone here, um, it's <sighs> Someone's moody. That's what I'm trying to say. Like someone here is very moody about something that didn't work out. And they could be like sitting around reflecting about the challenges and like how they had to stand up and protect themselves or something like that. Someone here is like, someone here is embarking on a healing journey so that they could find their passion, like their creative action, like their inspiration, you know? What's this four cups? There's more to this. Seven of Cups in reverse. Like someone's coming out of illusions. 
someone's like meditating, contemplating on what happened and the struggles they went through and they're realizing what type of illusion maybe they were caught in or maybe they put themselves in and they're ready to come out of that here. Yeah, the page of one. There it goes again, page of one. It's like someone here um, could be hearing some like surprising or exciting news maybe. Hold on, what's the page of wands? Maybe this is communication. The death in reverse. Scorpio energy. What's the page of wands and death in reverse? Yeah, there's going to be communication. Page of swords and the world in reverse. Hold on. Someone here was trapped in an illusion, okay? And they could be like trying to find their inspiration, undergoing a personal transformation here or something. It's like someone is realizing the choice they made, how it was a bad decision. Five of Cups. Like, I'm telling like someone's resenting something that they've done, a choice or something here. Someone is very resentful of, like, being caught up in, like, some sort of illusion here. They feel inspired to come forward and like somebody doesn't want some somebody doesn't want something to end. So that like someone feels like inspired to like come forward and communicate something here. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone invested into the wrong thing. Someone here juggled and invested into the wrong thing and nothing good came out of it. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Two of pentacles in reverse? Four of wands. Someone thought they were investing into a happy home or like a happy milestone or something to be celebrated. You know, some sort of stability foundation. Someone thought they were investing into something that was going to be worthwhile. That was going to be long term. You know, and and really it threw them off balance. Yeah, that, that wish did not come true. The stars in reverse with the six of wands in reverse. No victory. Five of swords in reverse. This is a past resentment. Someone could be ruminating in their head about a past resentment where something didn't work out. Like somebody poured a lot of energy into trying to make a, a very happy, you know, um, to, like someone here was trying to make their dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? Which is natural, you know. But someone here is very disappointed at something that this did not work out. Their dream did not come true. There was no victory here. This is a past resentment here. Someone here feels off balance. But you know what I see though here, Cancer, is that somebody here really, really, really does need to do some inner healing. Someone, I really feel like someone is like really in their head, like just going through all the things that went wrong. And they could be like, you know, in the process of like coming out of this, this may be you, you could be coming out of this funk, you know what I'm saying? And into a more positive mindset here, you know what I'm saying? Because I really feel like somebody here is just dealing with a lot of like inner conflict here. Like someone's like very much doubting of themselves in their path, you know, maybe because they've been let down and, you know, I can understand after you get let down so many times, you start to question things, you know, but someone here really needs to trust themselves with the high priestess here. What's the high priestess? Yeah, four of wands. Like someone here may need to take some time out to like dig into their intuition, trust in themselves, meditate, contemplate. Like someone needs to rest. King of Swords, that's the truth. Aquarius energy. Head over heart decisions, mental clarity. Like someone here needs to check within to gain some sort of some sort of mental clarity about what it is they need to do next with themselves. Yeah, the nine of, nine of swords in reverse. Like someone here needs to look, I mean, someone here is going to end up having like some sort of breakthrough and realize that there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here needs to trust in themselves. What else? Yeah, and heal. Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone needs to ground themselves and, and really focus. Really, so they, someone just really needs to focus on themselves for a minute. Hmm. What else? Let me get into some other cards. Okay, I don't like the way that came out. Yeah, someone could be going through an ego death or going through a tower moment. Um, this could be a, a good tower, though, to bring back someone's inspiration. Uh, King of Pentacles. Yeah, to bring back somebody's stability, to help someone... Um, 
gain stability. Or someone here could be going through an ego death because maybe they've gotten some coins and now they're acting smug with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Hold on. <laughs> What's the Tower and the King of Pentacles? No, now we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, this could be a good tower. This could talk about that Nine of Cups might have been upright, which would have been wish fulfillment. So what's going on here also is that someone here may about to um, receive some sort of shocking news, like receive some sort of, like someone here is going to have like some sort of sudden insight or awakening, like, and their dreams are going to come true. Like someone here could be really, really down on themselves about what went wrong in something and really doubting of their of the, you know what I'm saying of their future or how it can or how it could turn around but it looks like things are going to turn around here like with the will of fortune here and the hangman and then the higher the reverse spirit is calling on you to look at things from another perspective to think outside the box with the higher fender reverse you feel me about your situation like someone here may need to release a lack mindset so this could be you cancer like really worrying you know about your situation what you've been through what didn't work out and spirit you know like and spirit is calling on you to like really just calm it down a bit you know what i'm saying or someone in your situations because everything looks like it looks like everything's on track it looks like someone here could just really be reflecting you know what i'm saying about something that happened that maybe there, there was no justice or something didn't get right or something didn't work out the way that you guys wanted it you know um and spirit is letting you know, yeah, look, love is here. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands with the Temperance. Everything's going to balance out. There's going to be harmony. Spirit is asking you to be patient, you know what I'm saying, to have some moderation, you know what I'm saying, to stay inspired, you know what I'm saying, to be motivated. You know, there's going to be a, a new a new love. There could be a new love on the board, a new, very passionate beginning here with the uh, Temperance, like Sagittarius energy, like Sagittarius could be involved. Like Spirit is letting you know that everything's going to be okay to stop worrying. Okay, let me get into some other cards here, okay? And I'm going to leave this advice for the end here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go into some vibe cards here. Holy Spirit, what's the vibe here around this? Yeah, someone can be confused or conflicted about something or puzzled. And spirit is calling you to maybe do some introspection, to do some healing, some healing work, okay? With the Hermit in Reverse, you know, like that really kind of speaks out that someone is maybe resisting looking within themselves, you know, or someone may have been misled about something. But I really feel like there's a lot of confusion here. And someone here really needs to take some time out to ground themselves to gain some introspection. You may need to take a step back from the situation so that you can see that everything is not as bad as you think it is you know cancer like you could just really be worried about something here nightlife is in reverse like someone here could be giving up like um their gambling ways or this may involve vegas or someone here may have taken a gamble with a karmic energy here karmic is at the bottom what else here for cancer in the situation okay we got glow up here new careers new opportunities successful business yeah you guys are about to have a glow up and there could be a narcissistic energy in the background here within uh, in the reverse that's hating on you or something. What, what What's going on with the glow up? Yeah, there could be a karmic energy in the background that wants a second chance for you. They have wishful thinking to have a second chance with you because they're seeing you have a glow up. But Archangel Michael is here. You're prevented from harm. You This is divine intervention is stepping in here. What's Archangel Michael? So someone could be trying to come in. Yeah karmics third parties haters lesson learned no um yeah someone this is um a situation where uh a karmic energy you may have already cut off or you may have already just decided to set boundaries with uh cancer they're trying to come back in and maybe confuse you there's someone here that sees that you're healing they may you know you could be healing because you've been through a lot of shit you know what I'm saying? Someone knows that you got new things going on here and they want a second chance with you. But Archangel Michael is here out on a battle for protecting you from this energy because they're still in karmic energy. They're still operating out of self node, maybe. Yeah, someone here is in denial. Someone here could be running, um, making, uh, trying to escape for something or make excuses for something that's gone on here. 
Yeah, and this could really very much put you in your emotions or worry or make you fearful with the waves card and the boundaries. Like you set boundaries with someone here and because this person may have disrespected you for the last time and you may have said enough is enough. I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Yeah, you may have had an epiphany and decided that you needed to heal yourself. You needed to protect your peace with the epiphany and laughter card. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel like this is a situation, Cancer, where you just really wore yourself out dealing with someone here and you really need to heal. You know, there is definitely going to be a glow up here, okay? You're definitely going to have a second chance at righting whatever wrongs happened to you. Or this could also, and or this could talk about someone in the background who wants to come in and make things right, okay? So the so Spirit is letting you know that you're going to have a second chance to make things right. You're going to win this time. Everything's going to be okay. Archangel Michael is here, you know what I'm saying, uh, to provide divine intervention so that you can make sure that these haters, these third parties can't interfere. Or just to ensure that you're learning the lesson here, you know what I'm saying? Spirit is saying that, you know, saying to stop worrying, okay? Just after a period of self-reflection, you know, someone here may have decided to set boundaries, you know what I'm saying, for, you know what I'm saying, for people out here or for someone in your energy who, who's in denial about something or who keeps making excuses, someone who's very much in their ego and insecure energy here, a narcissist, paranoid, someone who's very egotistical here, like someone, you may be gaining clarity about someone that you were dealing with here, who was like really leaving you in this like lost energy here, this could be a Virgo, a Taurus, take it how it resonates, okay, but let me keep going here, what else Holy Spirit, someone's a gold digger, <laughs> uh, they want your money, or someone was trying to use you, what else? Or this gold digger may try to communicate with you and get blocked with the communication in reverse. Maybe because Arch like I said, Archangel Michael's out here. So this gold digger energy may want to try to come and speak out to you about something and try to compromise with you. And it's going to be a no. <laughs> what else? Love spell came out in reverse. So you may have been under a love spell with this gold digger or maybe a person was and maybe now it's broken. Someone's coming out of a love spell. Now, let me say this too, okay? This does not actually have to be an actual love spell. Like, what, hold on, what's that term? Double, double, toil and trouble. No, I'm not talking about that mess, okay? I'm just talking about like someone here could be like heavily emotionally manipulated, you know what I'm saying? Under a heavy, you know, love spell. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, I'm so into her or him. I will do whatever they tell me to do, you know, like that, you know? Not saying that someone actually was doing that, although they could have been. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Take it how it resonates here. But someone could be breaking out of that from a gold digging ass energy, you know? Okay, let me keep going. What else? Now, one thing I meant to, meant to mention, because it was at the bottom before I shuffled it, but it did say you, um, you're going to hear from them soon. And I meant to mention that before I moved forward. I got distracted here. It may come back out. But it said, yeah, it said this one. This was at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So I really feel like you're going to be hearing from someone soon, okay? This could also say that this is a gold digger here that you have broken up with that is going to try to reach out to you again. And I already told you, Archangel Michael's going to block, you know? This could be someone who has problems with addiction, a gambling-ass energy here. Someone here who has bad finances. So you may have already broken free from this energy here. And they could be trying to reach out and suck and get you sucked back in. And, and Archangel Michael's like, no. Someone else. Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Yeah, like I said, I really feel like you're about to walk into a glow up here. You know, you could be in a cycle here. You know, this could be good karma coming in or maybe bad karma for someone else or just something new beginning here. And there could be someone in the middle with a gambling addiction or something that's trying to get in the middle of it. Or someone here, like, you know, just has, like, issues here with you. And they don't want to let you go. So this could be you or your person here, Cancer. Take it how it resonates here. But someone here is like freeing themselves from like a very narcissistic energy here. This could be a, a fire sign that's involved. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. It says, no, it's not the right time. And then we got liar in reverse. So someone's lies could be coming out. You know, someone's sneakiness could be coming out here. Maybe it's not the right time with a fire sign here. The cycle has to end because someone's in the middle, a gold digger energy maybe. Move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. 
So maybe you've decided to, or maybe you need to move on from someone here because maybe they are unavailable. Maybe you're going to hear about, you maybe you're going to hear the truth behind a lie that they told you that's going to let you know to know it's not the right time or something like that. Or maybe this already happened here, you know? Hmm. All right, let me keep going here. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, we'll use this one. Okay. For those who know me, you know I love to have multiple battles. I mean, multiple players out on the battlefield. Goodness gracious, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> okay, what else here, Holy Spirit? What's going on here? Okay, we got fate here. Okay, fortune telling, uh, coincidence, fatalism. Now, this is a tarot reader on this card, okay? So, this could talk about something that's fated to happen. Or, you could be a tarot reader and this could be your fated destiny. To help those who are overwhelmed in their lives, find self-love, self-concern, self-healing from danger caution or injury by providing knowledge or advice yeah you could be stepping on your spiritual path guys you know you could be like um a mentor a teacher a tarot reader giving advice uh you know a, just someone why it doesn't have to be tarot it could just be anything you know where you're where people are looking up to you or you're helping those less fortunate you know what i'm saying but, you know, I really feel like someone here is stepping into their path to help those less fortunate, to teach them all about self-love, how to be independent like yourself, you know, how to be self-healing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you may need to do some soul searching, you know, to really, really find, like, you could be like in, the, like in the energy of trying to figure out what your spiritual path is or what it is you're supposed to be doing, like what your purpose is, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here may need to do some self, like, like really need to do some soul searching here and really see that maybe they're on, they're already on the right path that this is fated to happen you're fated to show people how to um self heals how to be independent of their uh, of their obligations of things that stress them out and bother and hurt them to give them advice and knowledge to coach them to success to victory achievement i'm telling you like you, you it could be fated for you to be a life coach like the hermit in reverse like you're meant to be in the upright cancer like you're, you know, the hermit is a wise teacher, you know, like a guide. Um, he's, you know, he represents soul search and wisdom. Like people look, look to him like, you know, that, that there's a lot that goes into that energy. You feel me? Like with it being in reverse, you could be doubting yourself of this gift. You could be doubting yourself of these abilities, you know, and spirit is letting you know that this is faded. You know, like a lot of people may already turn to you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be sought after, you know what I'm saying? Very much so because people are going to come and look at, look for you when they're going through storms in their life with a natural disaster here like you know people could be running to you when they go through stormy times you know yeah look people are calling on you with the protest card attention with the merit making what does that look like to you a wise teacher giving someone advice don't it like i'm telling you like this is in your destiny your path you know what I'm saying? To help those, to help unhealed souls, to help people less fortunate, you know, those who are going through poverty. You know, now that makes sense with the Hermit reverse, the Eight of Swords reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups reverse, and the Four of Pentacles reverse. This is you definitely doubting yourself and your gifts, but this could, this could also talk about how, you know, part of your path is to help those who have been through the things that you have been through, Cancer. You've been through this. You may have already been homeless or been left out in the cold one way or the other, emotionally, spiritually, whatever, physically. You know what I'm saying? You may have experienced all of this. You know, you may be dealing with some wounding issues, some inner healing, like some um, some um, issues, like expressing emotions, like grief, like like addictions. Like you may have been through all of this. And now it may very well be in your role to teach this to other people. You know what I'm saying? To help them through the stormy times in their life, to give them guidance, to give them, you know what I'm saying, hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these are people who are going through nightmares, who are suffering in darkness. You know what I'm saying? And you work with them to show them the way. You know what I'm saying? You show them, you teach them. You know what I'm saying? You could be holding classes with the collaboration. You see how there's a bunch of people like sitting around like a bunch of computers. Like you could be holding like classes or like workshops. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. That could very well, very much be in your purpose here, Cancer. 
Yeah. Wish hope worship with the vow. Like this could be something, you know what I'm saying, that you've been praying for. Or you could be you could represent hope. Like people could be praying for, you know what I'm saying, for someone to come and give this guidance. What's the vow? Now we got death here. With the nightmare here, this could also say, <laughs> come on, man. I was really hoping I'm going to go this way. All right. So everything I said before is definitely true about your path. But with the protest card here, someone is, is very much protesting the fact that you do this. Okay. Someone here feel they want to call you out. They feel like you shouldn't be doing it. Okay. But this could also talk about how someone is getting called out for working with a group of people to create to try to make you suffer like someone here was vowing an ending for you by causing misfortune a catastrophe or spreading hate with the curse card here and effort in, in hopes that you would become homeless and yes that was their goal we got goal here at the bottom i'm not lying so while you're in this energy here this self-love energy here helping those less fortunate you know, walking, you know, getting on your path, doing what you need to do. There is, you really have had some haters in the fucking background here <laughs> that have been vowing to cause misfortune, to create death and endings for you so that you would appear to be a failure so that maybe you would lose your home. Like someone here was trying to knock you back down. So let me say this, okay? Um, yeah, someone here wanted you to be isolated and alone and disappointed here and like held back like in some sort of contract where they could manipulate and control you here with the marionette card. That's like a puppeteer's card. Like someone here, they, they someone here is demented. Someone here sees you comfortable and they want to cause you conflict because they see you comfortable. This may have been going on without you knowing here, Cancer, with the blind card here. Like someone here see, like you may have, mm, let me say this. If you have not already backed away from this energy to take care of yourself and what's best for you, Cancer, I suggest you do that now. Because this is an energy that does not mean you well. And you, and it seems like you're in the middle of a personal transformation. You know, like really stepping into your path, who you are, what you're supposed to be doing, and all this and the other. And somebody's in the background, like straight up hating on you, yo. Because they know that what you do, you do it very well. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of attention. And they absolutely just cannot stand it. They can't stand it. <laughs> Someone here got some serious fucking issues. They cannot stand it. Someone here got issues. Okay, so now, Lord have mercy. Hey Spirit, tell me more about these challenges that seek the whole cancer back, please. This is somebody who has unfinished business with you or they feel that they do with the six of swords in reverse. Somebody sees you trying to move on and they feel like that they don't want you moving on yet. This could be someone that you were in a partnership with or some sort of connection, maybe in a relationship with the two of cups and the eight of pentacles. Like this could be workplace. This could be work related. This could be somebody that you worked on things with, you know doesn't have to be what's the six of swords in reverse why do they have unfinished business what the fuck is that about because that made me frustrated i really find it frustrating when someone's in the middle of like trying to figure themselves out and there's like a karmic energy in the background like nyang, nyang, nyang. like you like dude stop what's the six of swords in reverse okay page of wands what's the page of wands someone sees you as inspirational four of swords This could also talk about, okay, someone here in the background doesn't want to see you move on because they know what you're going to be. But this could also talk about how you may, you yourself, Cancer, may have been resisting change because you may have felt like there was unfinished business or something like that with something or somebody. But now you may be finding your inspiration after a period of rest. After meditating, contemplating on things, now you feel inspired. Now you're ready to like make some moves. What else? Okay, we got the death card here. Scorpio energy with the divine intervention, baby. I told you Archangel Michael was already out here 
So divine intervention is definitely here. Now, this is another way of looking at things now that it's starting to come together. Someone here has unfinished business with you, okay? And whatever it is that they were inspired to do against you, it's definitely being put to rest. Someone here was trying to bring an ending to you and it didn't work. You know, instead, all that it did was bring an end to a cycle here, which is why divine intervention is here. So someone here has unfinished business with you and they thought they were going to keep you stuck. And they felt motivated to do something here. And all that they did was just manifest a divine intervention and ending for themselves. Yeah, because you walked away with the three of pentacles in reverse. Like this is you walking away from something that you know is not working right. And walking into your world card. Which is like complete a successful completion of a chapter. You know, like it's over. Like you're done with it. Tell me more about the divine intervention, Holy Spirit. Yeah, with the nine of swords here, divine intervention had to step in because you may have been you may have been under a lot of anxiety or had worries, fear, depression, like unable to sleep at night, frustrated. Um, three of swords in reverse. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to release pain, to be optimistic about something, to recover and move on from this anxiety, this worry, this fear, this depression. You know, what I'm saying this ending here that came really, really took something out of you. You know, and things needed to change for you here. What else? Yeah, hold on. Let me see what that death is. Yeah, the sun's in reverse, the temperance in reverse, and the five of pentacles in reverse. Spirit is calling on you or someone around you to definitely ditch that lack mindset here. Because things are definitely a lot better than what you, you know, what you believe. What's this um, death? Strength in reverse, Leo energy, and then we got the Ace of Wands and the Upright. Yeah, so someone here needs to find their inspiration, their urge to create, their willpower, their desire, their potential. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here may have a lot of self-doubt, a lot of weakness and insecurities that was really bogging them down. So Spirit is stepping in to give someone that transformation so that they can have their inspiration back. And we got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Someone here may feel restless or someone may have done something out of impulse. What's the Knight of Swords reverse? Or someone here said something on impulse. Three of Cups. And then we got the Devil, Capricorn energy. Someone here may have done something reckless, impulsive. And without, uh, and without any regard for consequence with uh, maybe a community or a friend group here, um, maybe someone was operating out of their shadow self because of they, have, they had addictions or temptations or something like that. Nine of Pentacles is here. Like someone thought they would look good doing something when they acted out of impulse. They thought this would make them look good. What's the devil in the Three of Cups? The Emperor, Aries energy. Hmm. Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer energy. Someone jealous, insecure. There goes the Emperor again with the Tower. This Emperor, I think, is going through an ego death. Or some sort of shocking revelation here. We got the Ace of Cups here with the Sun. Ooh, hold on here. There may have, there, this could be masculine or feminine energy cancer, but it seems to me that somebody here, they became unfocused by a group of friends or karmic energies here who have like destructive behavior or addictions or something like that. And um, this may, whatever it is that they've done, they feel very insecure about it. Or someone did in the past, maybe not so much anymore. And I say that because the Emperor is here with the Tower and the Ace of Cups with the Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. Like now somebody is working very hard to maintain their positivity. You know what I'm saying? To to keep their joy, their fun, their fun, their warmth, their happiness, you know, and their love. Like someone here is like step someone here has new feelings for someone here. And they can this could be a sudden revelation or a sudden insight. Like some there's an emperor here, like a masculine energy who's having like a sudden insight here 
that you know that maybe they're in love with someone and or that someone really makes them happy and they want to want to make a work towards making a connection work so after like someone has went out and indulged with like some karmic energies cancer it's like they've come to the realization that this is not what they want it's not what they want what they want instead is to be with you or you know something that's something that's authentic like real love you know what i'm saying like someone here is having a tower moment and now they're ready to put in the work with the eight of pentacles they're ready to be focused they're ready to put in i mean to be diligent you know what i'm saying to and really develop and um and really develop their skills and mass or master their skills you know what i'm saying so that they could be in this respectful leader energy here you know what i'm saying and receive this ace of cups and this sun card like someone here is like accepted someone here is changing their outlook someone's changing the way they look at things in other words these are like major arcanas here one two three four someone this is a major life event cancer someone here is going through a major transformation a transformation of the self and this and they're coming out happy like someone here is trusting their intuition someone here could be in love with someone and they're ready to express it like there's a lot going on here divine intervention definitely had to step in to get someone back in the right head space it seems yeah five of cups in reverse like someone here is moving on and finding peace after like maybe like their dreams didn't come true in a situation here with the ten of cups in reverse and the high priestess in reverse and then the two of swords is here in the upright like and then the six of cups this may be something that happened in the past like someone here may have been doubting their intuition or doubting themselves because something didn't work out like there could have been a struggling relationship or something and, and this may have resulted in a difficult decision that needed to be made because someone was realizing that their dreams weren't coming true with something yeah someone had to make a well had someone had to take control of a situation here with the king of cups they had to ground their emotions and they definitely had to like be diplomatic about the situation and make a choice yeah ten of swords and this may have led to a painful ending here a very deep wound here but someone here remained positive or they need to remain positive because the fool is here a new beginning tens are endings you know what i'm saying so this is it this this painful ending is over there's a new beginning here with the fool you know this is new beginnings you know trusting in life having blind faith so someone here is making a decision to go ahead and be done with this painful ending here after like something didn't work out which may have left them in a tizzy but now like somebody's looking at something differently you know they are okay uh let's see what else do i get out here yeah let me get you some advice let's do that okay so for the advice now these came out in reverse the empress reverse the five of uh, wands reverse and the lovers card came out in reverse for your advice so let me see what that's about i really feel like this is more about someone like doubting themselves like someone here may need to um agree to disagree in a fight or argument or they may have decided to do this for the sake of a connection but i really feel like someone's like doubting if someone's gonna like come into union with their divine feminine or something like someone's very doubtful now these are in the reverse although they could be upright here let me get some clarity on these actually no let me use let me use these cards for the advice okay holy spirit clarify the lovers reverse with the five of wands reverse and the empress reverse please for cancer's advice someone here could be very insecure and just sorry my leg fell asleep oh i need to stand up someone here could be very doubting or insecure if something's gonna work out okay we got the knight of wands here judgments in reverse Ooh. nine of wands ace of cups is at the bottom empress is reversed again someone um has a lot of self-doubt and resentment over something that didn't work out with someone that they thought was going to be like maybe the mother of their children or uh someone they thought they were going to marry someone thought they were going to have long-term success with someone here and it didn't work out and this really has someone on their guard with the nine of wands here like someone here could be like very battle-worn 
like having a lot of self-doubt, like, like, like not really believing that maybe something good could come out of this. But with the Ace of Cups here, with the Empress in reverse, and then the Three of Swords, I really feel like Spirit is trying to let someone know. And then the World card is here at the bottom behind all this. I really feel like Spirit is trying to let you know, Cancer, that you really need to keep your faith, you know, and believe and keep your heart open to new love. You know what I'm saying? Don't be doubtful of yourself and who you are and what you can manifest. And please focus on healing because there's definitely a new chapter here. Holy Spirit, what's the advice? Give me more on that advice. Don't doubt yourself or your path at this time, Cancer, okay? Knight of Swords, okay? What's the Knight of Swords? And then I saw the Fool. What's the Knight of Swords? Two of Pentacles. Spirit is letting you know that you may need to go with the flow on some things, okay? You could, you know, the Knight of Swords, he could sometimes come off as like unfocused or restless, you know what I'm saying, or impulsive. You know, but then he could also talk about being assertive. So spirit may be telling you here, Cancer, that you may need to be assertive when it comes to balancing something out in your life. You know, you might need to really speak the truth on something and let it be done. What's the Knight of Swords and Two of Pentacles? Like this self doubt resentment, I really feels like really feel I really feel like comes from someone not speaking out about something. You know what I'm saying? And they're really like really holding it in and it's really key and they're really on guard, maybe. Okay, we got the lovers here in the upright. The King of Pentacles was in the reverse with the star. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is a past connection, uh, like an ex or something, or somebody that you that things just didn't work out with. You are really, I really feel like somebody's really worried about whether or not something's gonna come into balance with like a twin flame soulmate connection, or like maybe some sort of contract or like partnership or something. But Spirit is letting you know that you need to that someone here needs to um, someone here needs to speak their truth. They need to defend their position. Okay. Because something here needs to be balanced out within a connection, okay? With some, someone sees, someone has a lot of happy memories being with you. They love being around you. And there's a third party that may have been involved in this who may have messed things up. But spirit, it sounds like something needs to be cleared up here. Two of swords, like, you know, like block communication, like something's not being made clear here. So someone may need to definitely come in and speak a truth and balance things out and, and make everything, you know, and make sure everybody's on the right, on the same page. What else? Yeah, King of Cups with the Eight of Swords. Spirit is saying that someone here needs to ground themselves, ground their emotions. You know what I'm saying? To, to stay in control of something here. Someone's really in their head about something here. What's this King of Cups? Three of Cups in reverse, which could talk about gossip or a third party situation. And then the Three of Swords upright. So yeah, this is a third party situation. Or Spirit could also be telling you here, Cancer, that you may need to remain emotionally uh, grounded, emotionally balanced. Because you might hear some gossip here that's going to break your heart. What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, this is really going to have you all up in your head. We got the Hangman reverse. And then the Nine of Swords, this is really going to worry you. With the Chariot Reverse, you might think this is going to stop things or slow things down. This could be you. This is Cancer Energy with the Chariot Reverse. Like, um, Spirit is asking you to please remain in, in control of your emotions, okay? Because there could be people going around gossiping or something, or you're going to hear like some sort of like... Something from a third party is going to come out and this is going to break your heart and you may feel trapped or your person may feel trapped. And spirit is saying that you have to remember to release yourself from that lack mindset, like that whole trap mentality, because you're not stuck. Okay. You're not stuck here. Okay. Um, let me get you some advice. Please take that how it resonate cancer. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what's the advice here? The further advice, I mean, <laughs> the additional advice. The takeaway advice. There we go. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> All 
All right, Cancer. So it says, keep going. It may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long, and you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going because you are almost there. Yeah. Like I said, that um, nine of wands, like it's battle-worn energy. Spirit is saying to please keep going. Like you could be ready to give up. Like she looks tired, don't she? Like you could be ready to just like give up and be done with it. You know, Spirit is saying to please keep going, okay? Don't give up. Soar, you're being asked to stop dimming your own light, period. It's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar. Fly high, dear one. So like I was saying in the beginning, like I really feel like it's in someone's spiritual path or journey or I really feel like it's faded, you know what I'm saying, for someone to be on a path of like giving, like being a mentor or giving advice or helping those less fortunate or whatever, you know, and you may know this and you may be dimming your own light, which may have led you to be in this hermit in the reverse, you know what I'm saying, like really doubting yourself or something, you know, and spirit is saying to please, please, please don't do that, to soar high. Uh, pause. You're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back, look at all of the possible outcomes, and make sure you're heading in the right direction before you move forward. Okay. So yes, you want to keep going, but before you make a major decision, please make sure that you pause or reflect on it a bit before you move forward. Okay. All right. Um, let me get you an African goddess rising, and then I'm going to pull out some index cards and just see what messages come out of there. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the takeaway advice here? Please for cancer. We have Mame Kwemba Bong with Speak Up. Okay. So you're going to be called, you may be called to speak up. I did say a minute ago, like someone needs to speak up on something. Someone needs to assert themselves. Okay, she is the goddess of speaking up. Um, it says, speak up, speak out, speak on it. You have a right to be heard. You are betraying yourself by not speaking up. Your words have power Own your voice. As the old saying goes, stand up for something or fall for anything. Being neutral is not an option. When you stand firmly in your truth, you have thoughts, opinions, beliefs, and convictions. What do you stand for? Tell someone today. And her declaration says, I reclaim my voice. I speak out and speak up. So yeah, you need to speak up on something. You may need to speak up on your needs, on what you want to do, or what you know to be true, like trusting your intuition, like red flags, whatever. But Spirit is saying that you definitely need to speak up, okay? You need to speak out or speak on it, okay? You may be in a people-pleasing energy, like, I don't want, you know, start a pot. I don't want to rile up the situation or something. You know, maybe I'll just let it ride. No, you need to speak your truth because I really feel like a lot of you guys are holding things in and it's causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, and it's really building up and holding you back. Okay, so let me pull some index cards and just see what else is in your energy and then I'll end the reading here, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, what else is here for Cancer? Okay, Cancer, Spirit is saying prepare to be wine and dine. Someone may want to wine and dine you. Or you may need to wine and dine yourself and relax. What else? That's definitely a thing. Someone here could be getting publicly humiliated or, you know, not even in this situation. It could just be, you know, in general, you know. Um, you may be dealing with a karmic masculine, a karmic kin. What else? So maybe a karmic masculine is going to get publicly humiliated. Twitter fingers turn to trigger fingers. That's by Drake. <laughs> so there could be some online beef. Someone here could be heartbroken. Maybe that's why there's online beef. And here comes Odin with his blanket, just like a child. <laughs> Please don't bring it over here. <laughs> he has he carries his blanket around. What else? Focused on your path destined for greatness. That's what I want to see. So you guys could be very much focused on your path and destined for greatness. What else? Someone may have been a part of a fraud or a gift card or a scam or a Ponzi scheme. You may be around fake friend or friends. Someone here may have been trying to do sex magic on you or maybe they did. What else? Pregnancy. There's a baby coming. Someone here could be pregnant. Congratulations if so. Finish line. Congrats. You made it. So Spirit is letting you know that you've made it, okay? You've made it. You need to stop worrying. Someone here could have a same-sex crush on you. And let's do one more. 
Archangel Raphael is on your team and he's here with you. He's uh, um, the angel of healing, demon taming, and guidance. So spirit is telling you to please call on your archangels for guidance, okay? All right, Cancer. So I'm going to wrap your end up. I mean, I'm, I'm wrap your ending up. I'm going to wrap your reading up and end it right here is what I mean to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really hope that resonated for you guys, okay? I really hope that did. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Please thumb up the video, okay? And leave comments and let me know, you know, what's up, you know, what's really going on. Thank you guys again. I'm going to uh, hop out of here and into the next reading, and I'm going to see you guys later, all right? Have a good night. Bye.